back here for round three of the challenge on one and one. Beat um, whatever it is. Beat Mono Red Prison in round one. Three games and kind of got blown. The door is blown off me by Tron. So that'll happen. Tron's best deck. Well, I don't necessarily have that data, right? Cats are the spawn of Satan. For my account, sure. But that's just Grixis Shadow versus everything. I don't have, like, I can't take a pool of 500 people, have them play 15 rounds, or have them play just 8 rounds all of day one of a tournament, and then know exactly how those decks did. You know? Like, there were 40 Jun decks, 10 made it into day two. But then you can say there were 15 Tron decks and 9 made it into day two. Which deck was better? We don't know that because we don't know how much they start with. Um, I'm going to keep this hand. We've got like two redraws. We have an interactive spell. We have like a good clock. We're already moving towards like getting a quick shadow or a quick angler. Billy boy. Hey. I don't recognize my opponent's name. I kind of want to go see Jurassic World. Isn't that isn't that coming out tonight? Maybe there's like a super late one. Yes, every person submitted it. All right, looks like we're playing some interactive magic here. And my opponent just goes like, fetch stopping ground, faith of saluting, pitch, blood gassed, prize amalgam. I'm like, fuck. But we could easily figure that out. I should actually turn off my auto yields. If I get thought seized, I'm gonna cycle my street wraith. What is this? Bloodstained Mire and a Godless Shrine? Is this like a weird build of Mardu Pyromancer? Okay. Because they Mardu Pyromancer usually doesn't play the Godless Shrine. But maybe this guy does. Maybe he's a Jun Shadow deck. I don't know. But if he's a Jun Shadow deck. Unless they had Ray, unless they had Ranger of Eos in their main deck, they wouldn't fetch white. Black, the fetch lands don't match for Abzan. So I'm, I'm going to guess this is either a weird build of Mardu Pyromancer, Jun Shadow with white, or it is, um, or uh, I'm going to guess the weird version of Mardu Pyromancer or Jun Shadow with white. It was good? Yeah, I want to. I might go see it tonight if if Philly's looking is Philly's feeling okay. I could just stream all night. Maybe I'll order some Chinese food and just stream fucking forever. I gotta take Philly out at some points though. Okay. That's not bad. I kinda wanna find a discard spell to see what I'm doing, see what's happening over there. So I'm gonna cycle this before I street wraith. Even though I don't usually like doing this. Okay, I guess. So, Watery Grave, Death Shadow. Watery Grave, excuse me, Thought Seize. I'm not, if, I, if I had to guess, I would say we're playing Mario Pyromancer. No, we're just playing Black White Tokens. Okay. Oh, God, they have a freaking Vault of the Archangel. So, we're going to take the Path. Black White Tokens. What a throwback. Yes, Vark Vault of the Archangels is going to be tough to beat. So this likely takes our Death Shadow, I think. This does enable a Gurmy, Nasty Gurmasty. Yeah, dude, Vault is just so nuts. So nuts. This is going to be a slog. I likely don't have the tools game one to win to win this match. It's not bad. So one, two, three, four, five. A 
Okay, nice. Um, doesn't matter. Oh, I played my land. Okay. Um, let's just get nasty. We're just going to have to put on a super clock. The yeah, Innistrad was just gas all around. Okay, so they drew that, which I don't understand why they play it. Let's say play a Liliana. Okay. Just gonna like start attacking and leaning into these lingering souls tokens. I'm gonna thought scour off of this steam vent just in case I hit another death shadow so I can get two down. I'm gonna just hope my opponent's not playing like a main board, uh, main deck, uh, Wrath of God. All right, so we're gonna go like this. I'm going to bolt. I'm definitely going to bolt one of these spirits and then just keep going here. We do have two TBRs. Yeah. But my opponent's likely going to be out of Bitter Blossom. Gross. And they flash back this Lingering Souls. It's all right. We're going to bolt this, actually. This actually isn't terrible. TBR is what we're doing here. Just gonna, I'm one and one. So this means that they're playing around stubborn denial, I guess. And like we're just jamming. We're gonna bolt this. We're gonna bolt this spirit here. We just can't let them get any traction. Yes, TBR. It definitely does some work. Okay, yes. What was the loss? Yeah, that's what they did. They topped like that. Okay. Um, this is all right, I guess. Serum Visions is a decent draw. All right. So we don't want any of these cards. There's actually an argument to keeping the Polluted Delta. Shit. But I kept my land. They can't block Street Wraith. Now we're just going to cycle it, though. Okay. All right. And then we're going to leave as much of my graveyard intact as possible so that future Snapcaster Mages are good. We don't play any K-Commands. Honestly, the best draw for them is a land. Like, if they draw lands, this is going to be really hard to win. Okay. I think I'm going to push at the end of the turn. I just need to, like, make it so that I can keep their board under control. Make it so that they, like, throw that shambling event. Okay, that's gas. So Battle Rage actually wins us the game. That's a really greedy thought seize from my opponent. All right, so this is why we kept our graveyard intact. Yeah. Our opponent's not playing around anything, so that's good to know. Maybe we can get some equity of that later. We 
then we're just going to keep getting nasty. My opponent's already used two paths also. And push doesn't do anything here. Make them sleep with the fishies. We got a comedian in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. We got a comedian. So they're looking to take three on this and lose their shambling then. I think. I think that's like the best thing for them. Yeah, I think I think the best thing for them is to fire up Shambling Vent. And yeah, I think that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna just chump away their vent. Uh, looting doesn't do anything. Yeah. So they effectively just take three damage here. But then they, they go down to five, they go to four, and then they got Triple, oh no, I can't do math. Yeah, they go to, no, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. So they can draw Lingering Souls here. Lingering Souls is an out. I agree. Because now they're just in the Abyss. Like, even if they have a Wrath, they need Land Wrath, and they didn't play a Land last turn, and they didn't play Wrath last turn. I have no idea how Cyborg gets this deck. Alright, we're just going to attack. I don't think that there's any point attacking, like looting beforehand. Yeah. I guess they could have Blessed Alliance me. That doesn't even do it. I actually have no idea how to Cyborg against this deck. Like, I really don't like Battle Rage against any deck with Path or Thought Seize in it. So cards that are aces. I think this card's good. K Command's probably all right. Lava Man's great. It was okay. Last Hope is great. Last Hope and EE are where we want to be. I don't really want my counter spells against the Lingering Souls deck. I really dislike Battle Rage against these kind of decks. Because, like, while Battle Rage might be my out, like, oftentimes, it, it's, like, it's... So Battle Rage is the best way to win games against the, this deck, and it's the best way to lose games, also. Yeah, what happens when I top deck in it? Don't have a dude though. I kind of just want to be more efficient than my opponent and just like grind through. Like this is what I, this is what I want to do. Like right here is what I is like what I want to how I want to do this. I guess push, push isn't a card. Let's get rid of this push. Um, I probably can keep in like a counter spell or two because they don't look like they have a lot of removal that deals with my creatures. I think this is what we're gonna do. I think this is the plan, Stan. Peter. Oh, I hate mulliganing in matchups like this so bad. So bad. You just get, like... 
you just get so worked over mulliganing against decks like these. Like, it's just so, it's so bad. It's just absolutely fucking awful to mulligan against this kind of a deck. That just kills me. Drawn Bobble. That doesn't give me my first land, though. Where it's, it's a slow trip. All right, they mulligan, too. What a guy. What a guy. They're looking out for me. Peter. Oh, I got to go with no again. Okay. We can deal with a freaking whatever it is on turn two, a Bitter Blossom. That's a heater. This is a really good five cards. I'm going to hold up because Stubborn Denial, because if they don't play into it, then I can just Thought Scour. Nice. That card's good against me. Punished. It's good to know they have that after sideboard. I probably should have known that anyways, because that card's just probably nuts in their deck. Alright, well, at least turn off auto yields. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. One, two, three, four. So let's see what's coming. Alright, I don't want either of these cards. Uh, we're going to die a slow death. At least I'm going to be able to play Angler and stub the second half of Lingering Souls. My opponent can just peck me in the air with these Lingering Souls and then just hold back this Oriok champion. It's important to know that this thing, what's going on with this. So this is where I'm going to need, like, I can flash Snapcaster Mage in and eat this thing at some point. Okay, that's not bad. I think we're just looking for, like, EE. EE or like Lava Man. Okay, I don't want any of my lands. I don't need my discard spell. We'll leave the Thought Scour in, and then I'll shock myself. Yep, that would have been good. Yep, no, I just tossed that Archmage. Yeah, I just tossed that. You're right. I should have left the Thought Scour in. Yeah, that was a pun. What do we got here? Lingering Souls dominates about 30% of the format, and it's pretty useless against the other 70%. But man, when Lingering Souls... Lingering Souls is probably like the most polarizing card in Modern. When it is good, oh my god, is that card good. When it is bad, oh my god, is that card bad. Yeah. All right, so we got to stub this as much as this blows. God, they just have, like, the nut here. I might have to, like, rethink how I board here because, like, they just might have too many impactful cards for me to just not keep my – like, I might have to just keep Battle Rage in 
as bad as this is. Because they're just going to name the Gurmag Angler, right? And the Gurmag Angler doesn't do anything. I hope my opponent attacks. They sh if they attack, I'm just going to attack back. They shouldn't attack. If that's your, if that's what you want to do, then I guess I shouldn't have stopped it. Yep, that's a good attack from my opponent, I think. Oh my god. All right, million dollar question. If I hit EE -E on zero, if I EE -E on zero and hold it, what are the odds my opponent attacks with their Oriok champion and I get to flash my Snapcaster Mage in and eat it and then target Stub for the game? Well, so if I lead on Thoughts, I go to seven, and then I'm taking three. For, I'm, I, I think what I'm going to plan to do is to just attack. I want to attack first. Then I can Thought Seize my opponent. Play the EE for zero. Pass. My opponent probably ships in with this Oriok champion. Flash Snapcaster Mage to block it. Take whatever it is, four points. I just don't know if I want to be down another point of life when I theoretically can play Snapcaster Mage on Stubborn Denial. Target the Stubborn Denial. Basically time walk my opponent. Blow the Engineered Explosives when I'm at 5 and they're at probably 19 because I'm not going to block. I'm, blo I'm attacking anyway, so let's just get in here. Because I think I think for me to win this game, I'm gonna need my I'm gonna have to like want my cake and eat it too. What sucks is if they play anything pre-combat, I can't stop it. So that is the only issue. All right, come on, baby. What is this? Playing EE first will make them hold back champ. What do you mean? So now I just pop this. My plan did not work. So you're saying I should have done that last turn. Okay. I guess that makes sense. And then I just get like pounded here by another one. God. Yeah, yeah, no, I fucked up. You're right. You're right. I messed I messed this up. I'm going to hold that looting for another turn because I'm going to have to snap thoughts use this. Yeah, I messed up. I should have just held the EE because then they wouldn't have played around it and kept this back to block. Yep, you're right. Son of a bitch. At least this looting is probably going to be pretty good. My opponent's just still not attacking with this Oriok champion, which I guess makes sense. All right, so we got to get this into play. Stub this. Just like the only thing that we kind of have going on here.
And then at least we're going to be able to get the looting into play. Rest in peace. That's not good. I think I'm going to attack with both. And then Thought sees them. So I get in for two. I get in for two. My Death Shadow, they attack me for two. My Death Shadow's an eight. They can attack me for four. So two, it's a three turn clock. So I'm actually not going to attack. We're going to be Inquisition. Oh my god. Just absolutely punished for ditching my Thought Seizes. Because I was at too low of a life total. Oh, man. Yeah, they cast Soren. They give all their creatures plus one plus O. Oh. Crack me for four. I can then attack Soren with both of my Death Shadows, with my Death Shadow and my Angler, and get it off the board at least. Yeah, I'm going to re-sideboard here. I'm going to cut my Colgon's commands. I think I'm going to get more counter spells and then try to figure it out after that. And get the Battle Rages back in my deck. So attack Soren. Attack Soren with both of these. So I'm going to show them this Lava Mancer. I don't think there's any value in giving up. The Lava Mancer is not going to do anything with his rest in peace here. I think I'm basically dead. God, dude. All right. We are going to figure – we're going to change the approach here. We're on the play. We're just going to get super aggressive. Do I want the other angler? We probably don't need to have all four anglers in if we see rest in peace. Though we have four stubs. Yeah, dude. We're bringing it in. This is the hill we're dying on. I think Lava Man is better than Colagon's. I think Lava Man's better than some of my random cards here. Actually, no, wait. Lava Man, I want the 4th Street Wraith. I want the 4th Street Wraith. No, 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 no. Yeah, I mean, this is... I think this is the kind of... This is one of the kind of ways we win. We're, we're probably going to keep... We're going to ditch anything that's not a counter spell or a discard spell. Gurmag Angler. One, two, three, four. I think the Angler's worth it. It can give me a second threat, and I think I'm going to be able to get it down. I'll probably be able to get it down before their turn two. So let's get this. Uh, I'm going to cycle again because I wouldn't mind hitting this fetch land. Okay. Okay. I think we're going to go Thoughtseize Angler. I'm going to go thought sees whatever my opponent doesn't take now. Because they probably take Death Shadow. 
as that shadow is going to be massive. Should turn off my auto yield. They honestly might take Battle Rage. If they take Battle Rage, they might take Seize. They have a champion in hand. If they take my Thought Seize, then five. Four, five, six. I can if they take my thought seize, then I can go angler into Death Shadow. And the the Oriok champion doesn't really do much against team or battle range. They're thinking about it. If they take anything but a threat, then I can go double threat next turn. So if they take like if they take Thought Seize or Teamer Battle Rage, then they're looking at two huge creatures, which I don't know if they can deal with. Granted, if they don't take Death Shadow, then Battle Rage is gonna do a lot of work. Tough take from them. Maybe they're watching my stream in order for me to tell them which one they should take. You never know. Okay, so they took Thought Seize. Okay, so I'm not going... I think I'm going to Fetch Shock at the end of my turn. I really don't want to draw another land. That's a sick one to draw. That is a nut draw. All right, all right, all right. They can't cast Ruin Halo this turn. If they just have like push path and then throw on it. If they had push path, they wouldn't have taken as long to do that though. Path my shadow, sure. I'm gonna get a blue land with that. Probably hold this thing now. So I think I'm gonna go up with this, even though it, um. Like, I could roll down to look to fuel my Gurmag Angler, which I might do next turn. Well, I want to be able to fuel... I want to get the second Angler down, like, ASAP. So I think I'm going to get my lands down. It's not going to take very much for me, for this Angler to come into play. So here comes Lingering Souls. History of Benalia. That's not bad. That's a tilt. Okay, I'm just going to roll down my Liliana, I think. Like, just... 
Didn't hit anything, okay. History is very good, especially about what's going on right now. There's an argument that I should have just battle raged there while my opponent was tapped out. I probably should have battle raged. I should have just put my opponent to two. Stalked my graveyard more. Now in order for me to be able to cast this angler, I need to hit something. What is this? Cast out on my angler? Okay. Oh man, so that's going to get rid of my Liliana. Because they just plus, even if I shrink it, this. So here's what we're going to do we're going to take this Soren, we're going to roll down this Liliana. We hit a Snapcaster Mage, which is sweet. And then we're going to cast this Delving. Actually, hang on. Whoa, 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 hang on. If I go Snap Thoughtseize, I actually get their... If I go Snap Thoughtseize, I get their Soren. Yeah, that's what we're going to do now. I was gonna delve, but I think we're gonna get this. We're just gonna take the Soren. And then I'm probably just gonna block because I don't want my opponent to hit a Lingering Souls, then be almost dead here. I super messed up by not battle raging and putting my opponent to two. I think I made a, I think I made a mistake earlier in the game with that. So now they take my battle rage, which is kind of a tilt. They just have Godless Shrine, and that fuels my next angler. And I'm just going to chump this because it's going to fuel my next angler as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'd like to leave a Battle Rage in my graveyard because I've got a bunch more. Come on. Thought Scour is not bad. Let's see what we hit. Stubborn Denial. Oh, my God. All right. So I don't have any Colgon's commands left in my deck. So I should ditch all of the creatures first. So Gurmag Angler... All my Lilianas are gone too. So hit the land and then hit. I might as well not give them that information. I'm not thought seizing them ever. So let's just hit this thought seize. I could get ghost quartered into like a high impact spell, which would not be good. Get that shit out of my face. And that's, I, I punted. I should have dealt one more to keep up double blue because they could have just ghost quartered me out of this. Fuck yeah, dude.
So now I just go in and play another zombie fish. And we're just going to leave this card in my hand. Now we're going to leave this stub in my graveyard. And just no damnation one time. No damnation one time, baby. No damnation one time. Come on. Come on. Come on, did you hit? Did you hit, you bastard? Yes! 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 